In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at configuring file systems. The first thing we start with is NTFS. So NTFS is the standard file system for all Windows operating systems, beginning with NT Server 3.1. Unlike FAT, there's no special object on the disk and there's no dependency on the underlying hardware, such as 512 byte sectors. In addition, there's no special locations on the disk, such as tables, and NTFS is an improvement over FAT in several ways. It gives us better support for metadata and the use of advanced data structures to improve performance, reliability, and disk space utilization. It also has additional extensions, such as access control lists, which we can then use for auditing, file system journaling, and encryption. NTFS is required for a number of Windows Server 2016 roles and features, such as Active Directory domain services, volume shadow copy services, distributed file system, and file replication service. NTFS also provides a significantly higher level of security than FAT or FAT32. What we've got here is we've got some blank disks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go for disk two. We're just going to right click. We're going to create a new simple volume. And what we're going to do is select our next button. Then what we'll do is we'll use all of the disk space and select next. We'll go for F colon to be the drive letter. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll select next. We'll go with the file system of NTFS. Allocation unit, we're happy with the default. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll just give it a name. And the name we'll give it is NTFS. At this point here, we're not really bothered about doing anything additional. So we'll go with a quick format and we won't enable file and folder compression and we'll select next. Read through the summary and select finish. So as we can see now, what it's gonna do, it's gonna go away, it's gonna format the partition and we now have NTFS on that partition. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just go into PowerShell and what we'll do is we'll get some information relating to the file system that we've just put onto that disk. We'll come into PowerShell, just clear the screen off and all we'll do is we'll just issue a commandlet to give us information about our NTFS volume. Commandlet I'm going to issue at this point here is fsutil space fsinfo space volinfo space f colon. As we can see, it returns back information relating to my NTFS volume. So we can see the volume name, we can see the serial number, we can see the component length, we can see the file system. It is read-write and it supports all of the following. Next thing we'll do at this point here is we'll just get some information relating to the sector information. So we'll just clear the screen off. We'll just issue the commandlet. And we'll issue fsutil space fsinfo space sector info and then f colon and we'll just hit the enter key again. As we can see at this point here, it returns back information relating to the sector size. And as we can see, everything's aligned. So at this point here, we've returned back information relating to our sector size. What we'll now do is we'll now just reformat the F drive with REFS. And REFS is a file system that's based on NTFS. It provides the following advantages over NTFS. We get metadata integrity with checksums. We get expand protection against data corruption. Maximizes reliability, especially during the loss of power. We have large volume file and directory sizes, storage pooling and virtualization. We get redundancy for fault tolerance, disk scrubbing for protection against latent disk errors. We get resiliency to corruption with recovery for maximum volume availability. And we also get the ability for shared storage pools across machines for additional failure tolerance and load balancing. And the command that I'm going to use here is format hyphen volume space hyphen drive letter space f space hyphen file system and then we'll go for resilient file system or EFS. And now what we'll do is we'll just run the previous two commands that we ran against NTFS to retrieve information about our resilient file system volume. So we'll just clear the screen off. First command that I'll run here is fsutil space fsinfo space volume info and f colon. And we can see the information now. We've got our file system is now REFS. It is read write. What we'll do is we'll just clear the screen off. And what we'll have a look at here is we'll just have a look at the sector info. And we'll do that by using fsutil fsinfo sector info f colon. And we can see it's returned back the same information. So we've still got our 512 byte sector. And that's the end of this quick little demonstration of having a look at NTFS and REFS as file systems. Thank you.